Hey there guys, what's going on? So the little round table burst of energy video wise continues here today. I don't know if that sentence even made any sense, but uh, basically the point is we're here with one more little uh, vinyl unboxing for today. I actually thought I was only going to have uh, two videos to talk about a couple different things, uh, as you will have hopefully watched or seen on my channel at this point already, um, but something came in the mail actually uh, several days before release day, I believe, um, unless it comes out tomorrow, uh, I'm not really sure when the release day is, but I swear it's not quite here yet. Um, I got this a little early from, uh, the manufacturer, which, as I've talked about in many videos, I love when that happens, when you put a pre-order in, you get the item early, you get kind of that distinction of, it makes you feel special. Like you kind of get it a little bit before everybody else. You kind of get to enjoy it. You slap it down on your turntable and you think, okay, not everybody has this and I get to have a little, uh, a little fun in advance. I mean, sure, probably some other people got it the same way. Um, but I think it's interesting to be able to, uh, to really have that sort of, uh, that sort of fun with it a little before the fact. And I thought, you know, this is a good time to make a video and uh, and talk about this particular album because I like this artist and I've talked about him at least one or two other times so it hasn't been in quite a while and uh, this is his newest album uh, which is actually a little more filled out and uh, uh, musically interesting contains a lot of different elements compared to uh, his usual bodies of work as a solo musician uh, solo sort of being a, a, an odd word because it is that whole solo but having a band name kind of a thing. And uh, I think the most interesting thing of today's video is going to be seeing how <laughs> how exactly the title of this album is pronounced. I really can't tell you and I'm a little reluctant to actually say it, but this is the new album from Mike Kinsella, aka Owen, and it is called Le May de pupil, pupil, I don't know, something, something along those lines, I'm probably not going to say it again in order not to embarrass my, uh, my very, uh, unsuave self even further, but the point is, other than this, the strange title and the, the cover I really don't care for all too much, um, it's definitely a very interesting new record from Owen. Uh, especially compared to uh, his last album, which I enjoyed quite a lot, but was more of a uh, sort of a bare bones affair, which is, is sort of typical for Owen's music. A lot of um, very acoustic y sounding things, um, sort of just to frame his, his songwriting and his perspectives, um, which I've always found sort of to sit in a field all their own, in their own way. Um, you know, everybody has a distinctive way of writing. When you, well, not everybody, but certain artists, so when you kind of encounter them, they have their way of uh, composing and saying, you know, the, the, the stories that are in their heads, you know, putting that story out there for, for people to, to enjoy, to reflect upon, to maybe find that bit of themselves in. Uh, something along those lines, and I've always, I've always found there's just that the, the way a line structures, um, the way of composing it that Owen has always had that's very distinctive to his style. Um, that definitely continues here in this follow-up, um, but it's it's interesting in how much more uh, orchestrated it is. Like he didn't uh, approach the production in the typical way that he does, where he kind of uh, kind of holds himself away from everybody and just kind of finishes the record alone. He brought a producer in, they did some different stuff and approached it in a new way. Uh, there's there's lots of guitars, downright filthy, almost metal sounding guitars at times, uh, drums, uh, all sorts of different instruments and sounds brought together. And uh, in my first couple of listens, I've really enjoyed it. It kind of brings more of a, um, it brings more of a, um, Interest, I guess, distinction. I would say um, in that every again, every song has sort of a a new way to sort of capture you. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't overwhelm the lyrics or you know the things about Owen that make Owen so interesting. Um, it actually at times reminds me more of his earlier work in uh, in American Football, which I know is very popular with a lot of people. And there are certain songs that definitely remind me a little bit more of that style. 
And I, I think that was sort of the point of it as well, that he wasn't shying away from influences this time and going towards towards that more in, in, in this way. And I think, I think it really pays off. I, I, w I wouldn't say maybe in every sense, but there are definitely strong songs that stick out um, and stuff about it that I'm already really enjoying just a couple of listens in. But here's the title, or the title. Here's the cover with its little title there <laughs> that I can't pronounce. Um, it's it, not really a favorite of mine. Wouldn't really want this on a t-shirt. They were offering that as well, but to each their own. And on the back cover, all the titles of the songs for this. And, uh, you know, the usual things, website, credits, etc., etc. Inside, pretty, you know, cheaply put together, but not where it counts. You know, where it counts, it's, it's done well. Um, just sort of the little, just a little paper inner sleeve, which is pretty typical. You want to keep costs of it down in, but you get all the lyrics, different stuff. Again, like I said, it, it's very distinctive in that way that Mike Kinsella has in writing his songs. Um, and it, I think, I think it's very underrated. It comes from a very, maybe like sort of a slower, darker perspective. Um, but it has its own way of really yielding to being prolific and, and really holding my interest. And uh, for this, there's a really good, they never skimp on the vinyl. I gotta give it to Poly, to Poly Vinyl. They, they make their stuff, uh, you know, pretty affordable. Uh, they do the vinyl right, and I've never, ever had a problem with them. I love the artists on their label, whether it be Owen, whether it be the Japan Droids, uh, the forthcoming Dodo's album, um, anything like that. Or, stuff I'm still looking into that I want to get into with them. I just, I like the way they do things on this special red vinyl here, which I believe is only out of a thousand, which isn't really that distinctive, but I like that they do a lot of color stuff and not the, the thin kind of see-through transparent stuff that isn't so, you know, isn't so great, uh, in, in terms of sound. It's got a great sound to it. Um, you know, they're pressing quality stuff. They're really, uh, really admire what they do. Very quality release, and not not to mention, of course, not only is the re is the release great, not only is the record pressed well, which is the thing that matters most, obviously, but they throw in a nice little selection of freebies as well. They throw in my favorite little staple of all polyvinyl mail order stuff that I've ever had sent to me in the form of wonderful, delicious Airheads candy. Do not underrate this stuff, for it is absolute gold. I love it, especially the blue, so thank you for unintentionally randomly knowing that, Polyvinyl. And there's a little card in here for the upcoming uh, Someone Still Loves You Boris Yeltsin release called Fly By Wire, available on CD, LP, tape, and MP3. It'll be available on Coke Bottle Clear Vinyl coming up in September. I may be looking into that one, I'm not sure. I was looking at the single, um, I can't remember the name of it, yeah, I was listening to it the other day. And then on the back side, basically the same thing, except for the Dodos with their new album, uh, Carrier, which comes up in August on the 27th, uh, on Glacier Blue Vinyl and Smoke Vinyl, or maybe that's all together. I'm not really sure what that entails, but I'm definitely looking into that one. I'm more than a little. I'm probably going to end up pre-ordering that coming up as well. I'm liking the sound of that one. And uh, just sort of the usual stuff after that. Little polyvinyl sticker, little code for a random promo CD explaining what it is and all that, and a little CD from another one of their artists, I'm guessing, which I'm definitely going to try to take a listen to at some point, uh, called Rainier Maria with the Ears Ring EP. <clears throat> Certainly one of the more bare bones uh, packaging designs that I've seen in a long time, and it's tough to even keep the packaging together, speaking of that. But uh, they might be a promising little group. It's This was put out back in 2002. And uh, there's a little download card here for the Owen album, uh, as well as this Owen New Leaves poster, which features rather prominently right there uh, from, I think, the last Owen release that I picked up. Um, I, I keep avoiding it somewhere I'm going to get the title wrong, but Ghost Town, I think it is. Um, it's been a little while since I listened to it. 
but uh, that'll probably find a place elsewhere, probably around my record area, record room area, which is starting to have some posters as well. And uh, I like that with the little indie labels and stuff. They all kind of have their little... Uh, they're little quirks and staples and stuff that they like to send you, and uh, it, it makes it fun and interesting. You know, it, it doesn't cost a heck of a lot. Shipping isn't out of sight, and you get stuff early, and you get to you get to really make an experience out of it. You get to gnaw at the taffy, the taffy-esque candy while enjoying some good music. And really, in the scheme of things, could you ask for more than that? That's a rhetorical question. You can't ask for more than that. Anyway, that is my little vinyl unboxing for Owen and his newest album, Lamy de Pupil, whatever that is. I've gotten it horribly wrong. You're welcome for the butchering. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. I would definitely suggest, if you like his other work, definitely give it a listen, see what you think. Uh, you can listen to a couple of free tracks over on polyvinylrecords.com. Uh, purchase it there. Go listen to their other great artists. They've got a lot of stuff that I really enjoy. And uh, it's been a lot of fun doing this, uh, this vinyl unboxing stuff today, putting up a little glut of videos and some new stuff for everybody to hopefully enjoy, uh, to, you know, comment on maybe, subscribe to, and uh, to kind of bring everybody back in. And I think it's going to be a pretty good week for uh, continuing the spring cleaning, reviewing some other things, and uh, pushing forward from there. But until next time, guys, keep your music flowing and your vinyl spinning. I will see you all very, very soon.